Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and Klaus's Wunderstrafenstalt. That's what we decided to call this new prison in Prison Architect Season 2. Of course, last video we didn't do a whole lot besides just kind of planning things out, but you know, a good prison requires some logistics. Why do these guys have nothing to do? This actually concerns me a little bit. What the... What did I do for, what did I do for my foundation here? What is this? It's like they stopped... Oh, I accidentally cancelled the building! Well, I'm not too sure how that happened, but, uh... Okay, hopefully they'll get to work now. Are they not gonna get to work? What did I do? Did I break something? There we go. Apparently... Okay, I'm used to playing games where you just, like, right-click to exit the menu. But if you right-click in the wrong place, well, congratulations, you delete the building, and then we just kind of have some problems, so... Oops! My mistake, it won't happen again. Now, we need an entrance in order to finish off this building, so let us place a large jail door. We're gonna do one here, we're gonna do one here. And that should finish things off for us. We'll be able to put our shower together, a couple of extra cells, start working on a cell block, it'll be grand. We also need to put together our offices, and interestingly enough, it actually looks like they didn't... Did they not place any lights? Wait, I'm confused. They did lights over here. Why didn't they do them anywhere else? Well, that seems a little bizarre, don't you think? I think so. Okay, apparently we're gonna have to light these things up on our own. Let us take a look at the objects we need for an office. One meow, and meow. I know we're gonna need a desk. Uh, yes, an office desk, office chair, filing cabinet, and that's it. So let's get ourselves a couple of offices. We'll place one... Mm. Like so, like so. Filing cabinet goes here and here. And we have the special office chair mod that goes here and here. Perfect. So that should work. All we have to do then is hire up a warden and an accountant, and we'll finish off one of our grants. Now for the rest, we do need to put together the shower. So let's get some walls together for all this stuff. Here, 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 and here. Okay, if I go to rooms and I go to... Where's the shower? There it is. Shower goes like so. We're gonna need a spigot or a shower head. We have sprinklers in the event of a fire. Oh no, there are fires now? Well crap, I guess I need to be very concerned. Um, place, we're just gonna do a quick little wall of showers on both sides and I might be able to find a way to get like a little wall here. Kind of split it off a little bit. Put a drain by the door. One here and one here. Just kind of catch some of the water. Not that I think it matters too much, really. Now, for quick builds, I'm kind of curious. So, this whole basic cell thing, if I rotate it like this, I should be able to place it here, right? And just do this a few times? Oh, that's so freaking helpful! That's really helpful! Holy crud! I love it! Why didn't they have this in the game a long time ago? Place, 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 and place. We'll just start with that for now. Ah, I right-clicked again. Gotta get used to hitting the escape key. And now we're getting kind of low on money, so I do need to be very careful with what I'm doing now. Uh, but I'm very concerned... Oh, maybe the lights are here, we just don't have them... No, the, the, the thing is right here. I should have some cables that are lighting this place up already. Hmm... Maybe... Let's see... Objects... Lights... Place one here and here... Here and here... Here, 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 and here. Don't really like having to put together lights. I don't think that's a very fun part of the game, but I've seen some people who were just get like really, you know, I don't want to say anal, but basically I'm just saying anal about um about where they place their lights and stuff. They have to be like perfectly symmetrical in the room and blah blah blah. Meh. I'm not one of those people. I find that to be a little bit too much. Now, we do need to hire up some cooks and stuff as well, and I guess I could justify putting in Wow, we have Oh, the 10 hour shower heads haven't been installed yet. Never mind. Uh, we could justify putting in some cookers and stuff again here. Where are they? Do we... Do things just, like, disappear here? Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Ooh, there's a lot more objects than I think I was expecting. Now, I wish that if I, like, hovered over the fridge, it automatically would kind of highlight this stuff for me, but it doesn't seem to do that. Let's just go ahead and get a couple extra uh, cookers and fridges and stuff kind of along the wall. It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and use our planning tool, get rid of some of this stuff. We no longer need these. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. Boom, 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 ba da ba boom. Okay, and let's just kind of let our workmen go. When do our prisoners arrive? Six hours. 
Before they get here, of course, we need to hire some guards and other stuff like that, but I think we'll be okay. Ah, let there be light, he said. And lo and behold, there was light. Now, unfortunately, I'm starting to get a little bit capped on power. So let's spend a couple thousand more dollars and put in some capacitors. Whoop, and yep, it did in fact trip. Okay, I was kind of worried that having too much power drain was going to cause that, but let's switch this on real quick. There we go. Much better. All right. We had that problem in season one where I didn't put enough capacitors in and all of a sudden the entire station blacked out and I was terrified. Like, oh my god, we're dead. The prisoners are rioting. They're killing everybody. Now this time we're not going to be that stupid. Okay. I love having this little tool. This just makes everything so freaking easy in comparison. Didn't used to be that easy. Now let's go to our utilities. We need to get some pipes in like so. doop a doop doop Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. three men in a tub. Hopefully not, because likely somebody is getting shanked if that is happening. Um, I don't want to put a large pipe down there, but... You know, they never did... I don't know if they ever actually, like, changed how uh, pipes work as far as needing, like, a certain amount of flow. So needing to have large pipes as opposed to having small pipes in several areas. I don't know, I haven't seen any indication that that actually is a thing, but... It seems like I can just put the pipes wherever I want to, and they'll work fine. But just in case, we'll get this all set up. What are we missing here? A bed and a toilet. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of the planning, of course. We don't need... Whoops, that's quick build. Don't need any of these anymore. We already have our doors in position. Let's hire up some staff, shall we? We're going to need to get a warden. And we have to unlock finance to get an accountant, so I can't do that yet. Uh, maybe we should just go ahead and start doing that now. Let's see. Lockdown, bang up, blah, 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 blah. Is there reports? Programs? Regime? There used to be a way to research stuff. Is it here? Ah, bureaucracy. That's what I was looking for. We're going to spend $500 to unlock finance. Then we'll be able to hire an accountant and she'll be able to get me more money, or at least more reliably. Okay, so, uh, poor programs. Spiritual guidance? What's involved in that? Some prisoners are religious or have a general need for some spirituality in their life. Bring in a spiritual leader from the local community to lead them through prayers and instill a sense of calm amongst your prisoners. We need to have a chapel in order to do that, though. Uh, workshop, safety, and in in induction, hygiene, carpentry. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Now, the regime. How does this look? Uh, they eat at 1 and 8... Seems a little on the late side, don't you think? Let's change that up a little bit. We'll do, um... Sleep. Actually, just do lock up. Kind of like so. Uh, move the eat time to... Whoops, that was a little bit more than I wanted. Do lock up. You know what? This actually is probably okay. And maybe we don't need to want to do this much yard time with some lock up. I'm not sure it's going to matter too much. We'll do a little bit of free time, then they're allowed to go eat. And this all seems pretty good. Okay, yeah. That seems like a fine regime, at least for the time being. We'll have to tailor the needs of our prisoners to that eventually. But uh, for now, looks like we're getting all the piping in. And things are looking pretty darn solid. Now, one of the problems I've always had with Prison Architect is just the temptation to overexpand way too quickly. Build a ton of cell blocks, a whole bunch of cells, things you can't afford. You know, get a bunch of... Um, flooring and other stuff all over the place. We're not going to do that this time. I'm going to try to be a little bit smarter. Prisoners are arriving in less than two hours. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope you are. Now, we need to hire some guards and cooks in order to finish off our grant. We're a little low on cash, but we'll solve that soon enough. Let's go ahead and hire those two guards and two cooks, like so. All right, and they should get to work as soon as the prisoners arrive, and we will be done. Whoop. Uh, that is the sound of lockup starting. Okay. Scared me for a second. I'm like, no one could have escaped already. We don't even have any prisoners. Yeah, no, that's not what happened. It was fine. Um, it was just the warning bell. What is this? Notebook page. What is this thing? Contraband probabilities. Express all contraband storage as a probability. The probability is only evaluated when a search or scan takes place. It's kind of hard to read some of this stuff. Weapon chance... Huh. Prisoner of the kitchen. There's demand for weapons. The prisoner wants drugs, so decides to steal a knife. Returns to cell, trying to avoid metal detector. If he makes it back, random number equals 63. Bef 
therefore he did steal a knife, adding to his inventory. This is a little bit confusing, but I think it's supposed to technically go into some of the, like, details about how you detect contraband and stuff. Huh. There's a whole bunch of pages here. What is this? Is this, like, some sort of, like, weird campaign thing that I've never seen before? It's possible. What are we missing here? What? We have to have a specific chair? All right, fine. Dismantle the office chair. I thought we were allowed to do regular chairs, but apparently we're not. Uh, we'll do this one. Well, you need to dismantle this first. Can some, one of you workers please get over here and dismantle this thing? Yeah, there you go. Go a little bit faster, please. We need to have a reception area. Okay, here come, here come the prisoners. Quickly put together a chair. We don't have reception ready. Oh, there we go. Saved it. All right. Hey, I forgot. We have women. So, hello, ladies. How you doing? Saw, Coombs, Bailey, Love Grove, Ulrich, Uri, Ulrich, I, I don't know. Um, Kimberly Gray, Avery McAvoy, McAvoy. Let's take a look at our prisoners. What we got? Okay, starting off with this lady here. She is in for the murder of three 14-year-old boys after they supposedly made fun of her best friend. She's 41 years old. Three 14-year-old boys made fun of her best friend and she murdered them all, and yet somehow, she's only a minimum security prisoner? What? It's because she's already served her robbery, possession, intent for supply, and two possession. None of these have to do with murder. These are all possession. And then perjury. She's serving perjury. Okay, I'm not going to question that too much. What about you? Was caught in the night in the city zoo while hunting down wild animos. animals. Animos? I don't know. Ivo is suspected of entering the carnivore compound, shooting down the pride of the local zoo, a leopard, and eating it thereafter. Jeez! Also guilty of manslaughter, apparently. <laughs> Um, you mean leopard slaughter? I don't know, the prison, the, the, the convictions don't seem to match up with the description, but, oh my gosh, she's named Ivo Baby Leopard. Oh, no. Oh, that's awful, it was a baby leopard. That's terrible. Kimberly Gray, in a fit of rage, proceeded to brutally cannibalize her flock, baking their remains into cupcakes that were sold to the general public. Her cult. Okay. Bailey. Okay, that one's just a burglary. Nothing special there. Love Grove saw serial killer. Ah, ah, but not not S E R I A L. Serial like the food. Serial killer. You know, you like grab a cereal box and just start stabbing it relentlessly. Also driving under the influence. Coombs, multiple crimes including rioting and so on. That seems to be about it. I do love some of these unique ones. They are just, they're usually just hilarious. Uh, I probably should honestly bump her up to um, normal security just because she's probably going to be a threat, but. I mean, if she actually did murder people, why is this light... Okay, this light apparently doesn't work when it's on a wall. So, lights are not perfect then? I actually have to, like, consider dismantling some of them? Now, this one I can believe just didn't get all the way over there. I can believe that the lights just aren't lit because there aren't enough cables. But these two, I don't think there's much of an excuse. So that's a little bit of an iffy mistake there. But alright, we'll fix that. There we go. No problem. You know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead, before I forget, and place some more brick wall along here. There we go. And shower head. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Lots of showering capacity for our female prisoners. And of course, now the fog of war is starting, so we actually can't see a whole lot of what's going on. These poor guys are getting stuck. Look at him bash his head against the wall. Let me in! ba da 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 Let's open the door. Now let's close the door. There. Problem solved. You guys gonna let Love Grove into her cell, please? Because she needs to get processed. Are we gonna strip search them or something? Because I feel like we're supposed to. Oh yeah, she's absolutely supposed to get searched right about now. Huh. Oh god! I'm so sorry! I didn't know that it made them nude. I guess it makes sense, but... We just saw very pixelated prison architect breastuses. Yikes. That's fun. <laughs> oh boy. Go ahead and get these pipes over like so. Okay. Feeling pretty decent about this right now. Uh, we do have a little bit of money to work with. I guess there's no reason not to start expanding our capabilities with cells. Let's go ahead and look at the quick build real quick. Oh, we don't have a common room. Yeah, that's something I should put together at some point. Not sure if it's a high priority this very moment, but at some point it would be a good thing to have. There we go. That should spend a lot of our money, but... You have to spend money on prison uniforms. I just assumed they came with prison uniforms. 
Enjoy your prisoner. Batteries not included. Or in this case, a uniform. How very, very disappointing. We're making $2,300 per day right now. Okay, seems reasonable enough. Considering we only have, you know, eight prisoners. I call that a pretty good haul, all in all. Pretty good, pretty darn good. Let's get some more piping in position for where I know the turlets are gonna be. There we go, easy enough. Now, how many more prisoners can we get? We're gonna fill it up as fast as we can. Let's take a look at the intake. All available, another eight prisoners are on the way in less than 24 hours. And it's raining. Hey, take a look at that, the weather effects. They did promise that would happen. Were any of these prisoners a member of gangs? Do I need to worry about that? Uh, why can't I just like double click on them and like actually... L I want to open up their bio pages, dang it. Fine. You're not going to let me? I'll do it this way. What are they doing? Warmth. Oh, they all want warmth. Oh, really? So I actually do need to get a, a water heater. Is that what you're saying? Oh, fine. Complain, complain, complain. So these guys are in a part of gangs, right? Extremely strong. This prisoner hits harder with each punch during fights. Wow, she's superwoman. Uh, experience, blah, 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 blah. Mood. Grading. A grading on how well you attempted to reform and rehabilitate. We're punishing her very well. And she's very secure. But that's about it. Hmm. I'm not really sure if you can tell if someone was a part of a gang. Or maybe we just don't have any gang members. Which, you know, hey, I mean, that'd be great with me. Uh, reputation. She also hits really hard. Snitch. This prisoner is a known informant, and as such, their life may be in danger. Don't leave them alone with other prisoners for too long. Oh, dear. Oh, the deary dear. <laughs> Would hate to have her get shanked. All right, let's go ahead and get some more staff. We need to get ourselves an accountant, and that should... Can I not... Why can't I... I'm not allowed to place them here. Fine. I'll, I'll place her here in the middle of the street. Whoops. That was two of them. No! That right-clicking apparently is bad. Sack. Sack. No. Fire her. Fire her! Hang on. Uh. Staff. Fire. There we go. Okay. Yeah, apparently just clicking, right, and placing an accountant with your left click is fine, and then right click does the same thing. Which is not very intuitive. I would certainly have thought that right-clicking did not do anything. But apparently that's how we got so many accountants and wasted our money. Now those uh, grants should be done, so we need to find ourselves a new one. Cell block A. Raise your prison capacity up to 15. Hey, no problem. That's free money. Done. We got our cell... Our, sorry, our uh, grant advance. Inmate health and well-being. Build a medical ward. Hire at least two doctors and hire a psychologist. We do need more offices for that. Well, now that we have a bit more money, I think I can actually do that. But what else are available to us? Prison maintenance. Unlock maintenance, cleaning, and groundskeeping. We need a foreman, some janitors, gardener. Visitation rights. Build a visitation room. Um, I'm not really sure where I would place a visitation room. Hmm, that's a good question. I didn't think that one through. This actually would be relatively easy to do, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. When well, I need an influx of cash and I can build a quick common area and a vas visitation area, I'll do it. Security procedures certification. A common pitfall at new prisons are security lapses due to the inexperience of the staff. Hire a security chief. Hire ten guards. Yeah, we don't need this for at least a little while. Reform through education. Pretty expensive, and I often find it's very difficult to actually do it. Uh, staff well-being. Short-term and long-term investments, you just basically pay some money, and they give you free money later. Let's go for the inmate health and well-being. I think that that makes at least a certain level of sense. And we need to go ahead and... Mm, first things first, let's go ahead and place a quick staff door right here so my workers are able to access the outside of the prison more easily. And then let's go ahead and place a couple quick fences, just sort of... Just sort of fence this area. I want to fence this area off, but then they won't be able to go anywhere. It'll be fine. Let's just fence this area off real quick. Two quick fences. Make sure nobody goes nowhere. Right? Right. We'll place one here as well. Okay. We're just going to clear this area off so that I can delete this fence and then add some more office space. At least that's the plan. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Pretty easy. Uh, you know what? Don't delete that one. That one's fine where it was. Foundations. We need to build some more brick stuff. Can you please get rid of that last piece of fence? Please? Thank you. And let's now expand. Now, how is this going to work with the walls? Because when I build foundation onto existing buildings, I find that sometimes it actually just deletes half of the wall, which is not quite what I have in mind. 
It's not necessarily the end of the world, but... And apparently I right-clicked again. Gosh dang it, I always... Mm. Crap, I just deleted some important stuff. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is right. There we go. Gotta hit escape. Gosh, I have, what, what games have I been playing where right-clicking changes everything like that? I don't know. But it's getting really irritating. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and place a staff door here. And we need to get some more materials. We'll place them here. It actually looks like it did not delete the existing wall at all. Well, that's kind of nice. Good, I'm glad they finally changed that. Okay, with that going in, we can afford to put in a couple more office spaces. And we'll place them here. And yeah. And where's the filing cabinet? We'll place you... Yeah. And yeah. A couple more staff doors, like so. And office chairs. There we go. So that should be all the offices that I'm going to need for a psychologist. What, you can't place some things? Oh, right, because I have fences blocking off the area. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I forgot that I made it so you couldn't get out. <sighs> they could just starve to death down there for all I care. There we go. All right, problem solved. Now they should be able to get in there now. Now they should be able to get in there now. Do I know how to speak English? Probably not. Do I actually have to tell it to rebuild this stuff? Failed two times. Try harder, dummy. There we go. Okay, it resets automatically. Good. I was afraid that I was going to have to reset it manually. Uh, my, man, ah. Delete and then replace the things. But it turns out I do not. Thank God for that. All right, we need an office space here and here. And there we go, a nice little administrative office area. It looks pretty good if you ask me. We have room to expand down here if we need to. Uh, where should I place visitation? Now the thing about visitation is um, I typically don't like having visitation uh, like really deep into the prison. It just doesn't feel right, you know? It doesn't feel right to say, hey, why do we not have enough water? It doesn't feel right to say, hey, uh, Families, you have to walk through a very dangerous prison area in order to get to your loved ones, and you'll probably die on the way back. So I often like to have visitation kind of offshooting from the entrance area. So maybe I'll actually end up making this area into a visitation. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Why do I have no water? Guards, get in here, please. You, go this way. Okay, what's the problem? What am I missing here? Oh, you broke the pipe. Right, because I placed a fence there, and I actually demolished the thing, rather than just demolishing the wall. Does that solve the problem? It solves the problem. Excellent. Okay, guys, we have our first round of prisoners. We have more on the way, another eight uh, coming in 13 hours. Even at uh, six or seven times speed, it's still a little on the slower side. Do we not have pipes? I thought I told you to build pipes here. Apparently I did not. Must have right-clicked again. Gosh dang it. All right, well, I'm going to end this video here, but we have our first round of prisoners, and I kind of want to start setting up some, like, patrol areas for guards and tell them to kind of stick around the prisoners a bit more often. Like, I don't want these guys here in reception. I really want them to be hanging out in the canteen, because that's where they should be uh, located right now, and what if they're getting a knife? You don't know. What if they're going to shank you because you weren't paying attention to the canteen, and you just left the prisoners to do their own thing, and they're freaking criminals. You didn't think about that, did you? Oh, no, they desperately need to go to the bathroom. Well, that's fine. Um, your bathroom's in your cell, and this is eating time. So you're just going to have to hold it, make sure you drink your juice, and in three hours, I'll let you go to the bathroom. Okay? Klaus decrees it. Thank you all for watching this has been Provis. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the rest of the series so far. Be sure to leave your comments with your suggestions. Maybe uh, let me know about some of the features I might have overlooked or some uh, tips and strategies. I am always eager to learn. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time in Klaus's Wunderstrafenstalt. Bye-bye. <laughs>